How can councils use AI? Artificial intelligence offers councils many potential benefits and opportunities. It could help deliver services in more innovative ways, and it could free up time to concentrate on tasks requiring human and real-life interactions. It could help increase productivity while saving time and money. So, what are some of the ways councils can and are using AI? By using AI systems, councils can manage, sort, and analyze vast amounts of data in ways that are much quicker than traditional human methods. Text analysis systems can automatically sort, summarize, and interpret incoming messages, reports, and other complex text. Speech recognition systems can automatically transcribe meetings, provide transcriptions, and generate summaries or action points. Image and video identification can be used to recognize number plates for road management, analyze satellite imagery to map green spaces and biodiversity, or track incidences of fly tipping. More generally, AI can be used to inform and suggest decisions and policies. Machine learning models, which are computer programs that learn from data and algorithms, can process much more data than is possible through other means, and they may be able to find patterns and trends that were previously missed. For example, specialized AI systems can use population data, transport patterns and environmental information to help guide town and city planning. They can use data from multiple databases to identify or target potential social care interventions, or analyze population trends to identify communities that may have higher healthcare needs in the future. Some councils are already piloting initiatives like these. Generative AI systems can also be used for communication. They can help with creating web or social media content, drafting letters and reports, generating images or videos, and translating text into multiple languages. So, as you can see, there are many potential benefits and opportunities for AI systems within councils. When considering AI systems, it is important to see them as powerful enablers, not as a standalone strategy. And, as always, understanding user need is step one of any successful deployment. It is important to remember that AI systems are not perfect. The tools can make errors, miss key information, and provide false information. They are dependent on both the data they use and the algorithms and code used to train them. It's important that, within councils, AI systems are used to assist and not replace human decision-making. Council staff and councils as organizations will always be accountable for the accuracy of data that their AI systems use and provide. Try speaking to colleagues across your council to find out if and how they're using AI and what benefits you might explore by using AI systems. If any of the terms used in this video are unfamiliar, please watch the other videos in the series to learn more. Does your council have an AI strategy? Does your council have any policies on responsible AI? How might any existing policies on cybersecurity and data protection within your council inform the way you engage with AI at work? Has your council established clear lines of accountability for using specific AI systems in its services?